In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can make money in the crypto market, whether the crypto market is going up or going down, where you can leverage and you can go long and short. That's how you make money when the crypto market is going down and when the crypto market is going up, you long or you short. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can do this with a platform that I personally use to trade cryptocurrencies called Bybit. Now, Bybit is a crypto exchange that has a derivatives platform out in Asia. And what they allow you to do is to trade cryptocurrency, not only with leverage, but it gives you the ability to trade contracts contracts by shorting and longing the market so that if you were to go short what that essentially means is that you're betting on the price to go down you enter into a short when it goes down you make money if you enter into a long and it goes up you also make money but also if you enter into a short and it goes up you lose money and vice versa if you enter into a long meaning you believe it's going to go up and it goes down you lose money so I'm going to be explaining all of these things. They sound probably crazy to you, but I'm going to be explaining in great detail what all of these words mean and how you can make money in any scenario in the crypto market. So if you are in the US, the first thing you're going to need to do is to get a VPN. And what a VPN is, is a platform or a program either on your cell phone or your computer that allows you to change your internet location. So every computer, every device that's connected to the internet when it's connected to the internet it has its own ip address which is its own specific internet location based on its internet connection and the origin of that internet connection now a vpn is a very good thing to use even if you're not using bybit for this purpose a vpn what it does is protects you from getting hacked from getting exploited in many ways. So it's a very good thing as far as security is concerned to protect your online identity and many other things as well. But here, if you are in the US, you're gonna need to use a VPN because the website of Bybit or the platform does not allow IP addresses from the United States currently. Therefore, by you using a VPN, you can change your internet location on the internet, allowing you access to use Bybit, which restricts US locations. And there are other countries that they do restrict by IP address as well. So you go over to a VPN software. Some of them are free. One I use is NordVPN. You can go over here. Then once you go here, I recommend clicking your country in Spain. So you click your country in Spain you put your country in Spain and then your internet location once you do this will be in Spain so when you click on a website that prevents or inhibits people from the US using it you will be able to use it because it only knows that you are in Spain that's what it's telling the internet website so once you have all this set up what you need to do is you need to create an account if you do not have an account highly recommend you create an account and I'm gonna put my link in the video description if you use my link because I'm a huge partner with Bybit they can give you up to a six thousand dollar deposit Deposit bonus and if you deposit certain amounts of money they will still give you free cryptocurrency because you're using my link and you'll have discounts on trading fees so I highly recommend when you create an account create a new account deposit crypto for the first time using my link below so go ahead and create an account you open up the account and the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to fund the account so a lot of you are thinking okay let me just put my credit card in here especially if you're in the US no it doesn't work like that the way you need to get money over here is you need to have crypto on another exchange and deposit it into Bybit and once you can deposit cryptocurrency into Bybit then you're going to be able to fully use the platform and trade so here we have it we can see my assets I have an account here twelve thousand dollars in it and if I want to get money over here I want to deposit cryptocurrency over here so then you choose the cryptocurrency that you have that you want to deposit whether it's Bitcoin Ethereum USDT whatever it is in this case let's just check USDT so when you click USDT, you have to make sure you are depositing the correct cryptocurrency. Most USDT is going to be on the ERC20 network. So whatever exchange you have, it's gonna tell you exactly the crypto that you have. So every cryptocurrency, there's a base chain for that cryptocurrency. Some could be TRC20, some could be BSC, the Binance Smart Chain USDT. There's all these different USDTs, there's all these different Ethereum. So make sure you select the right one. And in this case, let's just choose ERC20, which is a very common one. This is probably not going to be the one for you. And what you do is you copy posit address over here. You input it into Coinbase or whatever platform you're using to withdraw from that 
that platform. So ultimately what you're doing to get crypto over to Bybit is you're withdrawing from one crypto location, one exchange, one wallet, and you're depositing it into this platform. If you are still very confused on this subject, I'm sure you can go to YouTube and type in how to withdraw cryptocurrency from Coinbase, how to draw cryptocurrency from Kraken, whatever exchange you have, I'm sure there is a detailed video on YouTube describing how you can deposit, how you can withdraw, all of that. So let's just say we've moved past this step, we've deposited USDT in this account. So what we do is we go over to our assets and in order for us to trade cryptocurrencies, we have to have our assets or our cryptocurrencies within certain portfolios within side of our account. So we can see here is that I have $4,000 in my spot account and in my derivatives account, I have just about $8,000. So when I'm trading leverage, when I'm going long or short, I'm gonna be using my derivatives account only. And so what I'll do is if I have zero money in my derivatives account and I have all the money in my spot account, I'm gonna be transferring my spot balance or however much of my spot balance in my derivatives platform so that I can be trading with that. Now, let me explain to you the difference between spot and derivatives. A spot account is just pure cryptocurrency. You have Bitcoin, you have Ethereum, you have it in your wallet, that is a spot account. And you are able to trade spot on here. So if you go to the top tabs, you're gonna see all the derivatives, you're gonna see trade, you're gonna see all these different types of things. If you wanna trade spot, you can go over to spot trading, you can click on the cryptocurrency that you have in your portfolio, uh, whether it's Ethereum, whether it's Bitcoin, and you can click it and then you can trade it. But we're gonna be getting into trading and how to do all of that in just a minute. But the focus of this video is to teach you derivative. But I'm gonna teach you spot and derivatives as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and transfer we're going to transfer spot to derivatives and we're going to click the coin that we have so let's just say we put in usdt and then i have four thousand dollars of usdt i'm going to put all or you can put however much money you want to put in your derivatives account and then you click confirm then after you click confirm you're going to have money now in your derivatives account so what we're going to do is we're going to click derivatives we have the derivatives portal there's all these different ways that we can trade derivatives or going long or short what i personally like to do is i like to go to usdt perpetual and what this means is that you have to have USDT or Tether in your derivatives account in order to trade the derivatives here. So that's why I will go to Ethereum USDT. I trade Ethereum a lot personally. And now I have funds over here on the right side to execute decisions or to make trades. Also in the derivatives platform, you will see derivatives portal, USDC perpetual. So you have to have USDC to trade any of these cryptocurrencies that are listed on the USDC contracts. And essentially what you will have to do is you will have to trade your USDT if you have only USDT to USDC. Or if you have Bitcoin, you have to trade it to USDC. You also have inverse contracts, Ethereum, Bitcoin, all these different cryptocurrencies that are inverse. And what that means is that you can trade derivatives by just having these particular cryptocurrencies. So you can trade Ethereum going long or short by just having Ethereum in your trading account. But what I personally do is I do USDT Perpetual. It's a very popular one and it's the one that I particularly use. So let's go over to Ethereum and we're gonna go more into the details of how to go long, how to go short. So this is a really cool platform as it has a trading view chart. You can even pull up a whole bunch of indicators. You can change a whole bunch of things on this chart if you know how to use Trading view, so it's very, very cool. And if you don't know how to use Trading view, you can obviously go to YouTube and learn how to do Trading view by just typing in Trading view tutorial. So here we have it. On the bottom here, we can see positions, close, PL, active, conditional, filled, order history. We can look into all of that after we execute our trades. We can see our live trades, so on and so forth. But here, I'm gonna show you a little bit of exactly what's going on here. So we have the order book, we have recent trades, we have the standard, we have the trading view, we have the depth. These are all different things that you can do to look at different charts. I personally use trading view. And then you can get into the settings if you wanna get more complicated. Now over here on the right side is we're gonna see a whole bunch of things. We're gonna see our equity, how much equity we have, how much available balance we have. We're gonna see isolated, we're gonna see all these numbers up here. So in order for us to execute a trade, we're gonna have to enter in some numbers. We're gonna have to click a bunch of buttons over here. So. Here we have order by quantity. And what this allows you to do 
is it allows you to buy these contracts, whether you want to go long or short. And it basically means you immediately buy a cryptocurrency. You're going long in it. So if it goes up, you make money. It goes down, it makes money, depending on if you're going long or short. So what you can do here is you can click 10%, you can click 25%. Let's say you have $1,000 in your portfolio. If you click 10%, you're only going to trade $100 or 10% of your available trading balance in this trade that you're trying to execute. And then at this moment, you can do market, you can do limit, you can do conditional. And conditional is where you can put a particular trigger price that you want to enter your long or your short. You can also do the mark price of conditional when you put that exact price. And you can even do limit or market. So whenever you do a market order, it immediately executes. Limit will only execute on the specific price that you have it set. Personally, what I like to do is I like to do market trades because I'm able to execute very fast in and out and especially in a very volatile market is very, very important because if you click limit and you enter a long position and it spikes up, you have to keep raising your limit to where you want it. So eventually it gets filled. If you put market, it immediately will execute. So I personally do market. So let's just say you wanted to go long and you only wanted to do 10% of your portfolio. So you click 10%. 25%, 50%, 75%, 100%, whatever you wanna trade with, that's what you execute. And then you click long and you're gonna immediately have an open position that's gonna either be making you money immediately or losing you money immediately. Now I'm gonna go ahead and enter into a trade with Bitcoin just to give you an example of how this all works. So let's just say I believe the price is gonna go down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, depending on how much money I wanna put into the market, I'll put 10% X, Y, and Z, or I can change it directly by typing in a specific number. So when you enter $500 or $1,000, that means you get a particular amount of contracts. So in this instance, for Bitcoin, since it's so expensive, with 10%, which is going to be around $550, it only gets me 0.277 of a contract. Or if I put 50%, I get 1.38% of a contract. You can adjust this contract number. You can put one and it's gonna tell you exactly how much money that is or whatever. So just put the amount of money that you want, mess around with the contract numbers to get the specific amount if the 10% or 25% is not working for you. So let's say I believe that the price is gonna go up or down. So I either enter into a long position. One thing that you need to do before you enter into any position is you need to make sure that this margin mode is adjusted properly, whether it's cross or isolated. I recommend only doing isolated trades because if you get liquidated, meaning that if you go long and the price goes down enough to make 100% of a loss, you're gonna be liquidated, meaning all of that money in that position is gone. If you do isolated, that contract is over with, it's done with. But if you put cross, what it's going to do is depending on how much money you get liquidated, how much money you go under, it's gonna be taking money out to replenish your contract out of your equity or balance of your crypto portfolio in Bybit. Only your trading portfolio or derivatives account. So I highly recommend do not do cross, only do isolated. And then here you can adjust your long leverage, whether you want 10X, you can adjust your short leverage, whether you want 10X up to 100X or 1X. For new traders, I recommend doing one to two to three X. Uh, with any type of leverage so you can get a hang of the platform, understand how the platform works because if you do 10X leverage, yes, it can make you a lot of money, but you can lose all of your money very, very fast. It's very dangerous. Investing and trading derivatives platform and it's only recommended for experienced traders and people who know technical analysis and know how to trade properly with working strategies. If you do not have a working strategy, you will likely not win. But that's why I have a crypto course and mentoring program teaching people how to make one to 2% every single day, teaching people how to become experts in technical analysis and trading with strategies of leverage going long and short. If you are interested in this, apply the link in my video description. I also have crypto trade signals with leverage signals over on patreon the most profitable crypto trade signals on the internet if you are interested in this go join the patreon right now the link is in my video description where we also have an awesome trading community highly recommend it but getting back into the video in this instance in this video i'm just going to do 5x leverage so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do 10 percent. so it's about 500 dollars. i'm going to open up a long position so here we have my contract right here bitcoin 5x and we have the entry price, we have the mark price, we have the liquidation price, meaning that this position is gonna to go to zero. My equity on this contract will go to zero if we hit $15,688 for Bitcoin. But as we can see, this is gonna show us our unrealized profits and losses. It's gonna show us our realized profits and losses. And as you can see, there's a couple of other
other things next to it. You can take, you can add a take profit or stop loss level. So you can take profit at a specific level here. You can change it from USDT to a specific USDT price or a percentage. So take profit at 1%, 10%. And you can do the same thing with stop loss, USDT, 100%, 5%. So as you can see, this position that we just entered into is in profits is up point two percent a profit of a dollar so really not much there but you can add the trailing stop you can add a take profit you can add a stop loss and these numbers here in the bottom are the percentages where you want to take a stop loss so if it goes down 10 percent, you take a stop loss there you want to take profit at 25 percent. if it goes up 25 percent in profits you go there or you can just add the specific number or percentage right here on the right in addition now how do we close this how do we exit out of this position well all you have to do is go over to close by you can either close by limit or you can close by market and it's going to immediately take you out if you do market if you do limit it's only going to close you at the limit that you set it to so if it doesn't hit that specific limit you're not going to get that order filled and you're not going to get out of the market right away so i'm in profit here so what i'm going to do what i particularly always do is click market and then it's going to ask you how much of this contract how much of this contract do you want to close so i will choose 100 in this instance i confirm now that trade is completely over with and i made some profits now let's go over to the spot just to give you an understanding of how this works so once you click spot trading you want to click on whatever the pair is, your USDC pair, Bitcoin pair, USDT, which people have in most cases. Now, when you go to spot trading, you just click on whatever crypto it is, Bitcoin, Ethereum. It does say 5X to it. Don't worry about that. Um, it just gives you the option to 5X leverage your position without doing a leverage contract going short or long. So let's just say I wanted to trade Bitcoin in this instance. I click on Bitcoin and depending on how much money I have in my spot account, I can click buy either with a limit uh, I do a market, which is typically what I do. And you click however much money is in there you want to add. So whether it's 1%, 2%, 3%, 99 of your spot account, you want to buy this here. Or if I already have Bitcoin, what it's going to see, what it's going to show here is you click the sell button and you do 100% or however much of the Bitcoin you're looking to sell at market or limit. You can also do the take profit and stop loss just like the other platform where we're doing derivatives. And that is essentially how this platform works. Now, getting back to derivatives and how this platform essentially truly works is when you go long, as soon as the price goes above where you entered, you make money. And when you go short, whenever the price goes under, that is when you make money as well. So you, going short means that you are selling or that you believe is going to go down. Going long means that you believe is going to go up and that is going to be green and going up from your position that you enter. Understand that trading with leverage, going long or short is very, very risky. And like I said, it's for experienced traders only. If you want to do this, make sure you open up a Bybit account with my link so you get free cryptocurrency. You can also join my crypto school where I can teach you how to make money doing this. And also I have crypto trade signals so that you can get alerts when to buy or sell, when to go long or short based on the information that I'm seeing every single day as a day trader. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications on so you do not miss these time sensitive videos and videos to teach you how to make money in cryptocurrency.